In these tough economic times, finding work can be a challenge, so maybe now is a perfect opportunity to be your own boss. Joining us to share some tips on how to do that is Volition Capital Managing Partner and small business expert, Larry Chang. Larry, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Meg. Okay, so are economic downturns a good time for aspiring entrepreneurs? Without fail, when you look back in history, when the economy is tough and unemployment is higher, jobs are a little bit less stable, people start companies. So when you look at Google or Microsoft, they were all started during tougher economic times. All right, your first tip talks about passion. Why is this such a key factor for successful entrepreneurs? Well, because entrepreneurship can be tough. You're going to go through uh, tough times sometimes. You'll get rejection. You'll have stumbling blocks. But it's your passion that carries you through those times to the end goal. So you got to be passionate, otherwise I don't think you should play. All right, well, let's talk about the wow factor because you advise people they really need this. Yeah, you know, we've all experienced it as a consumer when you look at a product and you say, wow, why didn't I think of that? And as, a, as an entrepreneur, that's the kind of reaction you want to engender in your customers. And the way you do that is you keep your product really simple, really focused on solving a specific problem for a specific customer really well. Okay, so how difficult, how expensive is it to get that simple, focused product off the ground? It has never been cheaper to, to get a product from concept to production into the market than it is today. And I think that's why entrepreneurship is thriving today. So why is it so cheap? Just because everyone's trying to, there's a lot of competition or? No, the internet has totally leveled the playing field. So you can outsource almost every aspect of, of product design. So if you want to have a, a, a spec written on a consumer product, you can outsource that. If you want to have a product manufactured, you can find the suppliers on a site like mfg.com. If you want to sell a product, you can go on Amazon Marketplace and access millions of customers. So it's just a lot easier to do it today. All right. So now you also say feedback is really important, but there's a fine line between listening to others and standing behind what you believe in. How do you balance that? Yeah, I mean, I think the mission of the company has to come from you and has to stay solid. But when it comes to implementing your vision, when it comes to packaging your product and how you price it and, and how you display it, those are the types of things where you should listen to feedback and iterate as you go. Okay, let's talk about some strong areas to start a business. Apps have become big business. Can you still cash in here or do you think this trend has peaked? Oh, it has not peaked at all. <laughs> there are new platforms that are emerging. So it started uh, with Facebook and you can build apps on Facebook to the iPhone and iPad, now to the Android phone, and now you can even write apps to browsers. And so there are great app companies out there, both big and small. So it's definitely an area that you can grow in. And what about niche websites and blogs? Is there still room for new ideas here with communication and technology? Absolutely. I mean, if you look at the couponing, online couponing space, right. you see big companies like Groupon. But when you look at niche segments within that space, companies like Coupon Mom, which is a, a website for uh, mothers to get cr uh, grocery coupons, is doing very well. So there's always room for niche concepts, really specific concepts within broader macro ideas. And how about more tangible goods for consumers? There's lots of innovation in medical devices, uh, gaming, and even, even consumer products for parents are booming. So there's a lot going on there as well. There are, um, are there any segments of the population where there is a demand for entrepreneurship and fresh thinking? Well, college kids all want to be the next Mark Zuckerberg. You saw <laughs> that he wants to donate half of his uh, wealth to, to charity. And so when you walk on college campuses today, which we do, uh, everyone thinks they can be the next Mark Zuckerberg, and I, I suspect some will be. You know, you talk about self-confidence, and it's such a key factor in succeeding. Do people tend to overlook that factor? Well, it's important, but I would put it second to passion because we have seen some newer entrepreneurs enter this world trepidatiously um, and they start to build confidence as they get their first customer and their first sale. So it's important, but it's by no means a prerequisite. All right. And now I know viewers want to know this, the next answer to this question because your company invests in new entrepreneurs, but what do you look for above everything else before deciding a company is worth your money? Well, we invest in technology companies, software, internet, tech-enabled services. We invest in bootstrap companies that are growing. But I would say if there's one key thing is we're looking for founders who want to build a great, big, change-the-world type of company, a billion-dollar-plus company with a big idea, and that's what we're looking for. All right. And before we go, you've really seen a rise in entrepreneurship over the last couple of years, haven't you? Absolutely. Even in the last couple of months, I've seen great growth companies started by, by college kids, senior citizens, stay-at-home moms technical wizards from MIT and college dropouts. So it's touching every demographic of society. Well, and everybody talks about, you know, bringing the economy back, you have to see small businesses starting to grow. So it seems like it's going in the right direction. Absolutely. All right, great insight from our small business expert, Larry Chang, managing partner at Volition Capital. Thanks so much for all Thank the advice. Thanks, Meg.